Yeah, well, <laughs> you want to show off to your family. <laughs> no, you're too far up the bank, mate. Miles too far. Walk out, walk out. A little bit further. You'll be able to slip from there. Good. Just drop straight down. That's good. Now feather your blades as you get your legs in. Feather your blade first on the rear face. Have it on the water where you can lean on it. The rein, rear face of the paddle. Slap, slap support. That's it. Before you came into the shore, you should have had your rudder up first, mate. Always get it up. It's all right for now because it's in the deep water. Now straddle if you've got the rain there and follow suit. That's it. Go forward a bit. So you slip straight into the seat. No, you didn't sit in your seat before you did that. No, use your blade. That's it. Lean on your blade, lean on your blade. That's it. Adjust yourself. That's it. No, you're not around the corner. Ah, you're in trouble, mate. You've got to undo. Go back, go around the corner. No, it's further back, you've got to go back. That's it. Both sides and then go for it. That's it. That's good. Back paddle carefully. A little jerk with your body. That's it. Keep jerking. Don't put your blade on the on the sand or the bottom if you can help it. That was a well done. Thank you. Now, just relax there a minute. Think about your wet exit. Avoid the anxiety. Think it through. Relax, you fall in, in this case you deliberately roll over, once you're over you lean forward, get the strap, pull it forward and over back to you which is up or down when you're upside down and then keep rolling, let your bum, just let yourself relax, your bum will follow gravity out, you'll just roll out of the boat and come up against the rear or bow. Okay, think that through. And when you're ready, down the galley paddle. Well, it's up to you. Uh, we've all got we've all got preferred arms and actions. Okay, when you're ready. Now you swim to the bow, that's your stern. Now you didn't relax and let your bum drop out then. You tried to kick out too early and you got slightly jammed. Do you remember? 
Yeah, no, you didn't drop down. Um, all right, now what you do is you swim that bow to me. That's the way. And you try and keep the boat, your long axis of the boat, yep. at right angles to me. Yep. Now, you hand that to me, and I take it. You now swim to the stern with your paddle. Okay, you cramp all right. Yep. Now that you flip the boat over, go back to the stern. Now put your weight on the stern, pull it down. I pull it up, you swim it in. You're tipping it the wrong way on me. Bring it up. Now I'm dragging you, don't lift it up. J just push, swim and push. Now once I've got once I've got you high enough, I empty it. Okay, now we tip it over, put it back in the water again. You've still got your paddle. You swim back to your cockpit on this side. Now just stand there, take your butt, push your boat out, we've gone in too close. Now, that's it, just walk back a bit there, how's your crank? Okay, now what we do is I come up here, I take your paddle. Now, you go to the rear here, to the cockpit rear, the cockpit, the combing. Yeah, you're almost there, back a little bit further. That there, now, you've got to go on your back. You're floating on your back. Bring your feet up to the surface and float. You're in under the boat. You've got to be parallel to the gunwale of the boat. That's it. Now, the off leg, you bring that over. Lift it over into here. Lift it right up. Bring your knee in. Okay, now, you hook your heel under the cockpit there. You reach over and grab. Comey, whatever you can. You know he did it. And then reach over and grab my boat. <laughs> Alright, when you're ready. Bring it in, push it in, that's it, you're in better this time. One big hill, pull, pull, pull. That's it, now keep rolling, keep rolling, push your leg down into the boat. Keep rolling over, bring your bum around. Now, now, get in there. That's it. Slip your knee in. Spread your legs there. That's it. Now, what you do is we go on to the next phase. This is not over until you're fully paddleable again. So now, it's spray deck on. Did you come around the corner? Yeah, I think so. You're a little bit off centre here, see that? Oh, yeah. Make sure it's tucked all around. Oh, it's that got a bubble there. You see him. All right? Yep. Sit up straight, relax, get that cramps working areas going again. All right. You now take your paddle, so you're taking charge of that kayak again. I'm letting go. Okay. All right. I, it is now my job to check that you're all right. Ready to paddle? Yep. We are separating, so both hands on your paddle. And we just gently separate. You've got your paddle if you need to balance, like I am, and you're away. 
Well done. You got there. You, you, your legs, your legs as you, your legs as you're talking about, are of little consequence to what's going on. It's the the muscles in there. You just roll them through. They'll keep on the gym and keep working on those. Just roll it, roll it through. Keep rolling, and 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 the rest follows. It's you know, there's we've all got with our body shape and type, we've all got advantage, disadvantages. The rain, of course, the rain, of course, it's just lovely when she does it. I love getting her back in the boat. <laughs> Now, <laughs> for your knowledge, you never, in a flowing stream, get sideways to it and then pinned on a rock. Now, if there was a little bit more force in that water then, it, it then has the potential to break your boat in half because you will not get off. It pins you on the rock and you are dead centre and the water flowing each way keeps you in the, that position. Now, if, if you're in rapids, big, big rapids, you become pinned and your boat's got no option but to fold around the rock. So that's a good lesson. What you should have done is, I said we reverse out of, you should have reversed all the way yeah, down to here. Yeah, I was going to and I lost my, where I was going and I got stuck on the rock. Yeah, yeah. but you've got to not do that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I mean, you weren't going to get into trouble there, maybe wet. But uh, it's a good object lesson. Hey? I was going to sit there and make you get wet and get me off. No. No, I was prepared to sit there and wait for you to fall in. Well, that was totally unexpected. Um, now, you've got your paddle. Okay, now you want to maintain the airlock in the boat. So come back to the middle. Now, get the cockpit combing, yeah. and you've got to give it an almighty pick up and flip so that you break the lock, but the boat doesn't get a lot of water in. Just violent flick over. Okay, now, go to the bow. That's the stern. So after you flip the boat, you get straight up on the sides you want. In calm water like this, it's the bow. Now start swimming for the shore. Side stroke to the shore. When the boat's trailing behind you, just swim straight at the shore. The boat's coming around a trail. It's good that you fall in. It's teaching, learning. No, you're still pulling it around in a big circle. You go straight for the shore now. Okay. I wasn't looking at the shore. That's the no, always look at where you're going, mate. Stand up, take the boat back up the beach a bit further. You're coming into oysters. Come into the shore so you can walk.
a little bit further up the beach, walk it up, that's it. It's hard work when you're on your own. Now I'll drag the bow up a bit. Right, that's enough. No, that's don't drag it up any further. You've got to empty it. So stand with your ankles in the water as soon as you can. Now push the bow back out to the edge of the water here. That, no, that's the stern. Bring, bring the bow out to you. Now, you've got to learn to do this by yourself because we can't always get to you. Now go to the bow, bring the bow out to you. Now what you do is you hold the bow with both hands, one at the top, one down as far as you can get. Go further, a lot further. Now you've got to pick it up and flip it over with the cockpit clear of the water. You've gone too deep into the water. You're right, get on with it, mate. You're down on the bow spit, you're right. Now try to flip it. We've got to see if you can do it. No, you get it there so that you pick it up and turn it over. Oh, okay, now, okay, leave that lock. You, you should not let it go back down to the water. You're trying to keep the cockpit out of the water. So go to the bow. You keep coming down the boat for some reason. You want to be right up on front of the bow. Now, with an almighty quick pull, pull it up, hold it as high as you can and let the water drain out. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Good, flip it over quickly. Nope, you're going to have to do it again. Yeah, you're going into the deep water all the time. Hey? Yeah, it's a steep beach. They never do what you want them to do. Go up into the shallow, so you're just ankle deep. Now you had it then. Okay, so quick pick up. No, you let it come over. Okay, now what you do is you do a quick pick up and flip it back the other way so all the water hits the rear the, the the wall behind that's it keep it up keep it up okay try again there leave it there pick it up fast let it drain now flip it back over that's it you've got an empty boat now go to the shore and have a rest. Now as I've told you, just about everything to do with the kayak is counterintuitive, okay? Yep. And that's why you just gotta keep doing these things, doing and doing them. Yeah, and because I panicked as well. Well, this is fun. And, um, got confused. I was looking for the pool, the pool tie. Did you have any stored in here? No, only got the water bottle. Well, go get it, mate. Have a drink, and we'll put it away. So once again, this isn't a screw. You, you put it in there, you feel it sort of drops, yeah. and then you just turn it like that. That's locked. So I'd, I'd say you thought you turned it, but you you weren't in underneath the... Oh, I see, yep.
Now you can mop your boat out a little bit more. Now you know the tide's coming in, so always point your, your bow into the incoming tide or the flow of the river or whatever. So bring it around parallel to the beach. That's it, and go up against the beach. Now all you've got to watch out here for is the lapping water. But get par on a steep beach like this, it's so calm here, you just take it all the way in. All the way in. Now. Lisa, a bit wobbly at the moment. Yeah. Alright, well the quicker we get to sit in the kayak the better. That's the boat again. Okay, it's gone. So as soon as you can, up and hop in. And then you're sitting down. Leave the paddle on the shore side there where it won't go anywhere. No, too far up. Keep the paddle close. That's it. Legs oh, in. The boat's going again. The what? The boat's going again. Well, oh, make it quick, mate, before they come back. The waves get us. Throw your leg over. That's it, grab your paddle straight away. Now what you do in a situation no, what you do in a situation like this is push yourself off. Use your paddle mate, push yourself off. Draw stroke, no, draw stroke out. No, don't push out. Draw Turn it around that way and pull the paddle towards you. Okay, put your hand in. Do anything you can to get off the beach. That's it, that's it. Try paddling now. Good hard strokes. You're pulling. Okay, just go out a little bit. Face into the wind and tide. A little bit more, keep going. The rain raft on the other side, please. Okay, just rest. You're right. Okay, just relax. Vomit from wherever. Anxiety. I think it's all those poor little vegans. The poor little vegans she's been eating, mate. She's the poor little things. They just want to run and frolic in the forest, and she eats them. It's anxiety, right? Really. Oh, you panicked on the surface, mate, and that's what put you in. You felt yourself go past the tippy point yeah. and you thought I'm in yeah. and because you thought you're in you're in surprise surprise yeah, um, anyway, like I keep saying mate it's all counterintuitive that's why we've got to do it do it do it forget the sand for the moment mate that's that's part of the parcel now get around the corner the trouble is even if you're vomiting you'd, in normal circumstance out there we would not have time to fiddle around yeah. I'd have to push you while you're vomiting to do this up 
as long as she doesn't get in the cockpit. <laughs> no room for sympathy out here, mate, once you're doing the sea paddling. Can you do it? Yep. Lock it in. Okay. Now, you've got lovely clean water beneath you. Splash it over yourself. Get rid of the sand. Yeah, well, we'll fish that. No, Wet the back of your neck. Now, question is, how do you feel? You feel better now. Well, you've got two choices. We can go in and have a cuppa. We've got all day. And you can relax, get yourself back together, and then we'll come out again. Or... Um, We'll head around the corner. Well, I recommend you go in for a cuppa and then we come back out. Well, I'd, I'd suggest going in for, for a break. Not to stop. Yeah. We'll we'll go in for a break and then we'll come back out. Okay, we're separating. Paddle, Cheryl, paddle. You get it there. You might need to balance. Round the wrong way. That's it. So just paddle across. Do a semi ferry glide to the other shore and then paddle up to where we need to be. Okay, let's start paddling a bit. Even when you approach like this one here, paddle into it over the back. Here comes the next one, you see it? Yep. Paddle into it over the back. I'm going to take you out where you're going to get tested. Now turn into this, turn in, punch through, over the back, punch through, over the back, now this time you must do it, punch through, over the back, keep paddling, don't stop, come up forward of me mate. Punch through it, over the back. Good. Get ready. Punch, over the back. Well done. Here's a test. Punch, over the back. Good. Okay, charge it, speed up a bit. Punch through, over the back. Now the next one's going to break on you. Charge it, speed up. Punch through, over the back. Well done. Okay, Shell, turn on a slow left. Punch through, over the back. Go that way, mate, in a big arc. You did well. Up a creek with two sisters. Without wow, every little boy's dream. All I gotta do is get rid of the paddles. <laughs> so where are we in relation to how far the camp is? Miles. Three K. Once we get up here, you get on that bank we're directly looking at and we'll be out of this northeasterly. Your boots just, you were locked on the sand, I didn't realise.
shit off, mate. Well, uh, what's hard? I did a bloody thing off. <laughs> oh, well, oh, sorry, I didn't realise. I didn't know I had it. Oh, yeah. I just didn't know. I'm just getting this getting in and out a bit good and... and <laughs> but... <laughs> now what, you all fall in now? Scott. <laughs> I'm laughing. Right, okay. ready? One, two, hop, 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 up. <laughs> Look, she did it. What's the problem? I'm old. Shall we leave her or not? No. I mean, Who's cooking dinner tonight? She. she. Let's get her. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Put it all down to my Okay. Get her off. What? Russell. Well, what? Knees together. Now, just a little bit more. Oh, now, look at you done. You made me wee wee myself. I don't want to talk about it. It's embarrassing. I don't have a nappy on. I'm not be filming that. Lorraine. 